Ooh, we forgot to see what day it is. I'm old, honey. I have to say. Actually, yesterday was Allie's 22nd birthday. And I think we mentioned before that we couldn't afford to send her a birthday gift because we're trying to save every penny we have yeah. for this house. We just don't have it. We just don't have it. And then it was made really sad because Allie was... Her brother didn't even say happy birthday. I did remind him the day before that day, and he was with her giving her a ride in the car, so that really broke my heart that he couldn't find the time. You know, I know he has stresses in his life, but she's always been there for him, and she would always be there for him. I mean, she gave him gas money, and she even gave him $20, and it was her birthday. So that kind of bothers me. And then... You know, he was saying about this altercation he got into with a man when he was driving had me really upset. And I know he's stressed. He, you know, he's out of his apartment and back in with his dad now. And I, I know he doesn't like living with his dad. And his dad's a complainer, too. I'm not saying that Dave is a complainer. I'm just saying his dad is a complainer. So I wish that Allie's birthday had gone better for her. So I'm adding more. Good. I hope so. It was funny. Last night, yeah. Um, talked to Uncle Boyd and Aunt Betty. We were talking for a while, and, and Boyd says... No, it wasn't last night, the night before. Oh, yeah, the night before. Did you forget something? And I was like, it's your birthday, isn't it? <laughs> That's like I think that, you subconsciously knew it because you've been trying to get a hold of him. That happened day. quite a few times where you've totally, called him I on his totally birthday. didn't think of it, and he's like, "Did you call for another reason?" No. <laughs> we have to put it in our calendar. Yeah. <sighs> we had a great card for him too. Stink. We'll have to remember to do that next year. We went for a good walk yesterday. Oh my goodness, it's my record walk using Samsung Health. It was over 19,000 steps. So needless to say, we had to take a long nap today. Well, you took a nap. I just laid there. Yeah, you didn't sleep, did you? No, because I was texting with Allie and I had a lot on my mind. Oh, we didn't say our good news, did we? Let's say it again, even if we did say it. Got the house? Yeah. Our offer was accepted on, on uh, the new place, a new construction home, and um, yeah, we're pretty excited. July 18th, yeah. we settle. Can't get out of this place soon enough. <sighs> Freaking hate it here. This is settling. I mean, if you look around here, this place, I mean, for a manufactured home, isn't horrible compared to where we were at. Where we were, where we were before here, the place we were at that we moved into in this community first yeah, ended up terrible. having mold, and they had to move us out. And it was, I'm sorry, <laughs> this is all about me. <laughs> so, um, yeah, we'll be here less than a year, thank goodness, because we actually sight unseen, we didn't know what we were getting ourselves into, and we thought, well, we'll be there for. You know, a couple years to get me through school. No. No. We're not staying here. Hate it here. No. Not I happening. I got so depressed when we were thinking about the fact that we probably would have to stay here for another year or two. They got rid of their security person, whom we got to be good friends with. And it's just... Dwayne. It's getting worse and worse. It is. So now it's to the point where... Every night you're hearing booming bass from somebody playing their music really loudly. Every time we go for a walk, you smell somebody smoking weed on every street. And there's only, what, four streets in here in this community? And um, walking around smoking pot. And, you know, if that's your thing, that's fine. But you're supposed to do it in your house, right? I mean, it is still illegal. I don't care if you, what you do in your home. But you shouldn't be walking down the street doing it. There's kids out and stuff and... I, I don't know. I just, I guess, I guess I'm just getting mm. old, but whatever. That wasn't happening when we had the security. And we have sheriff, uh, two sheriffs that live here. Yeah, less than like three houses away. 
not much of a help, I'm sorry to say. I'm sure they do a great job. The only thing I've known about the sheriff, the sheriff that lives here is he had words with one of the neighbors and he ended up throwing her up against um, another neighbor's car and detaining her that way. So, um, yeah, it's not left it's not left a good impression on me. And you know, I have I I, I just have issues with them claiming that having sheriffs living here is a good beneficial thing for us because I haven't seen it. No. I haven't. It might be beneficial for them. But it's not beneficial for they us. They just live here. They don't patrol yeah. or anything. And how, so. how is it? So there is a noise ordinance in Gainesville and we live in Gainesville. How is it that they can hear it? Because we've walked past their home when we've heard it. They can hear it. We can hear it in our home, in every room of our home, and yet they do absolutely nothing. So that tells you them living here isn't doing anything. That's just one of the things. And, the, and then the, you know, the parties and, you know, yeah. the... There's the, always screaming and yelling arguments and stuff, like yeah. almost daily. Yeah, it's, it's not a great place. No. And pit bulls. I, I don't mean to go on another pit bull rant, but what is it with y'all in Florida and the pit bulls? I've no. never seen, I have to talk Floridian. This is a Floridian thing. I've never seen so many pit bulls in my whole life as I've seen, and especially in this community. Yeah. Half the dogs here, easily half of the dogs here are pit bulls. Oh, three quarters of the dogs. Yeah, I was being conservative. You're probably far more accurate. And the thing is, people don't know how to train their dogs. If you know how to train your dog, great. But if you don't, don't get a pit bull because those are some strong dogs. Please do not abuse your dogs, especially pit bulls. I can't wait to get out of here. So we're getting off track. Are you itchy? Yeah. yeah okay, we're off track. Sorry. So what else do we do? I took a practice GRE test today. It was it went pretty good. Good. What else do we do? What else do we got to say? What are we mm. trying to keep up on? We've been eating pretty healthy. Except for that um that stuff with the streusel on top. It it said it was from a healthy recipe food site, but it has apples in it. That's about all that's healthy. Yeah. <laughs> in milk and eggs. That's pretty good. It was yummy though. Yeah. And we've been eating a lot of fresh fruits and fresh vegetables. That's why we look so good. Look how young we look. I'm 80. Look at how good I look. He's 105. My memory is going. I don't know how old I am. <laughs> All right, so tomorrow, what's the plan? Ooh, tonight we finished the Shrek um, marathon because we, had, no, we, we interrupted that. Oh, we don't There's finish it. There's two movies left. We're at the second half of the Shrek marathon. We interrupted it for watching Rogue One. And then the next night we watched some Star Trek Voyager because it's been a while. No, Star Trek The Next Generation because it's been a while. So tonight's going to be Shrek 3. Yes, Shrek the 3rd. Shrek the 3rd. Not one of the better ones. And what else? What else? What? What else is going on that we're going to do? Mm, what are you doing? You know what is really, can I say this too? So it's this big hurry up and, you know, make our application for the mortgage and stuff. So I'm like fretting about getting a hold of the mortgage guy and he's out of town. So then this other guy was calls. He never called us. So I finally talked to our mortgage guy. He's like, you already applied. That's how you got pre-approved. I don't know what they're talking about. And we're like, well, we're being told five days here. And, and then he's like, oh, yeah, I'll send you the paperwork you need. And Barbara's like, oh, yeah, I'll send you... Nothing yet. Still, this was since Friday. Today is Tuesday. Nothing. Sitting on our thumbs. We can't do everybody's job. We have to get Boris a cricket tomorrow. And we have to feed the tarantula. That's on the agenda for tomorrow. He does love his crickets. <sighs> yeah. You want to kiss me? I can tell by looking at you. Mm -hmm. I guess that's it for today. If we remember. Tuesday, June 6th. If we remember, we'll talk to you tomorrow.